So, 2020 was a year of innovation. We have seen the first round of display camera phone, more reliable phone phones to next gen flip phones. Companies like LG has claimed their existence by introducing rotatable display phones. Global pandemic has changed our lifestyle and we are now highly dependent on our smartphones. Hello, I'm Victor and you're watching Intro to Victor. Before 2020 goes, these are the stunning smartphones of 2020. the smartphone according to their date of release. First one is the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. The unfolded size of this phone is like a normal smartphone but when you fold it up it will be half of it. We have seen uh, other phones like this, the Motorola Razr 2019 but that doesn't have 5G capabilities now. In 2020 all the smartphones are 5G capable. This device actually comes with two cameras set up on the back and a single camera in the front. So the next phone in this list is the Asus ROG Phone 3. This was released in July 23 and this is a very powerful gaming phone with outstanding battery capacity of 6000mAh. This device runs on Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 Plus and this is one of the powerful processors. In case of internal storage and RAM, this device has a lot of variants and it can record 8K videos up to 30 FPS. On the rear, it has a triple camera setup, wide, ultra wide, and macro. This one can easily claim to be your ideal gaming smartphone. If you are enjoying this video, consider subscribing to my channel. Our next phone is the ZT Nebula Red Magic 5S. This one is also a gaming smartphone, and the most interesting part of this is that it has built-in cooling fan cooling fan in smartphones yeah that's incredible red magic 5s is powered by snapdragon 865 this one also capable of recording 8k videos at 30 fps and it also has triple camera setup on the back You'll actually find similarities in these two phones, the Asus ROG Phone 3 and the ZT Red Magic 5S. The ZT will lag back because of its lower battery capacity. Now we are heading to our next phone, which is the first under display camera phone. Yeah, the under display camera phone is really thin up. Though this is not a perfect device, but this has actually gained the title of being the first under display camera phone. And this is a ZT Exxon. 20 5G. This thing actually comes with impressive spec sheets. The display is an OLED panel. It has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G and a lot of internal storage variants. The main camera is a 64 megapixel shooter. It also has a 8 megapixel ultra wide, 2 megapixel macro, and 2 megapixel depth. This device doesn't come with an optical image stabilization. It can actually record 8K up to 15 FPS. 15 FPS? Is that a usable video? I don't think so. So this thing has a non-usable 8K capability. The front camera is the most interesting part of this and it has a 32 megapixel f2 wide under display camera which has HDR capability and it can record 1080p videos at 30 FPS. To power this device, they have set up a 4220 mAh lithium ion non renewable battery. So, I have a video about the world's first under display camera phone. You can find it over here or in the description. Our next device is nostalgic. Definitely. This is a nostalgic device, and this one is the Motorola Razr 5G 2020. Yeah, Motorola Razr is now on 5G and this has much more convenient external display which is much more useful this will give much more useful information this was released in september 15 this year and uh, the shape of the display in open condition is not that conventional but that's actually looks good they have taken a wise decision by setting up only one camera on the back which is a 48 megapixel shooter with ois it has optical image stabilization it can shoot 4k which is usable because it actually captures 4K at 30 FPS and a lot of variant in 1080p footages. And it also has the electronic image stabilization. The selfie camera here is a 20 megapixel shooter and this one is a wide one. It has auto HDR and it can capture 1080p videos at 30 or 60 FPS. 
that's a good you can record 60 fps videos on the phone camera. to power this device there is only 2000 and 800 milliampere battery but this is such a beautiful piece of technology and yeah this one is stunning our next device was released in september 18 and this is the samsung galaxy z fold 2 fancy name but this is the second version of the samsung galaxy fold like all other phones this has 5g capabilities and this actually comes with much more usable external display this device is just like um, having a foldable tablets because the unfolded size is really huge and the display here is a dynamic AMOLED display. This device runs on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 Plus. The main camera bump is identical to the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and it is a triple camera setup. All of them are 12 megapixels and it has the capability of shooting 4K videos at 60 FPS. The main camera has optical image stabilization, other runs on the electronics image stabilization selfie camera here is a 10 megapixel wide shooter and there is another selfie camera which is over the external display which they call the cover camera is also of the similar specs the selfie camera can shoot 4k videos up to 30 fps and 1080p also on 30 fps this does have electronic image stabilization so the samsung Galaxy z fold or z fold 2 this device is very favored to most of the tech youtubers this device is actually more convenient so our next device is my oh and i really love this device and they has created some uh, kind of new concept of rotatable display i think you've guessed the device this is the lg wing 5g this device was released in october 15 and it has such a nice display which can rotate 90 degrees vertically this kind of display gives you more flexibility of using two apps and has a great camera feature built-in gimbal inside so the selfie camera here is not with the trend they have set up a motorized <laughs> camera which is not seen in other devices of 2020 but however i really like this device the vertical display will be a horizontal display and you will find a half display beneath it for the camera tech they have set a triple camera setup on the back the primary one is a 64 megapixel and it also has an ultra wide sorry two ultra wide cameras one is 13 megapixel and another is 12 megapixel the primary camera has optical image stabilization it can capture 4k videos at 30 and 60 fps and 1080p videos at 30 or 60 fps the motorized pop-up selfie camera is of 32 megapixel and it can record 1080p videos at 30 fps our next device is a gaming smartphone and everything is going to be dual here so this one is the lenovo legend dual in the name there is dual and this is a 5g capable smartphone this device was released in october 15 this device actually gonna give you the actual gaming smartphone the camera tech over here for the back they have set dual camera one is the 64 megapixel white and 16 megapixel ultra white dual led dual tone flash and it can capture 4k videos at 30 fps i think it can only capture 4k probably but if you check the camera placement they are placed in such place where a gamer fingers on go like the name suggests it has dual batteries dual cameras on the back and it actually has dual charging ports one on the regular position and another from here this device is made keeping the gamers in mind because when you're gaming you can charge using the primary port right so they have set up a secondary port which can actually charge two batteries together and you can actually charge with both ports everything is dual here except the front camera the front camera is a 20 megapixel motorized pop-up and if you see the placement this is actually set up by thinking that while you're gaming you are actually covering the front camera so you don't do that that's why they have set up like this which actually gives you the opportunity to live streaming games without any so our next device is the largest device from apple and almost at the end of this year in november 13 apple released their iphone 12 pro max which is the iphone with the largest display on it and this beautiful phone is going to be the strongest phone made by apple nothing to say about this device you can check out my video over here about the apple iphone 12 and 12 pro there is not much change in the specification of the iphone 12 pro max than the iphone 12 and 12 pro the upgrades here is the larger display and a bigger battery 
our next device is really very unknown and I think this is the biggest smartphone could be. This one is the Royal Spexpy 2. It actually has a improved hinge than the previous one. The previous one had leather covered hinge which was not that convenient but this one is looks really good but sounds creepy. Let's check out the MKBHD's video. There is not that much information about this device and this one runs on the Snapdragon 865 and the unfolded panel is 7.8 inch insane big display and when it's folded it's 5.5 inch skin. The fact is the aspect ratio in unfolded condition the aspect ratio is 4 is to 3 and when it's folded it becomes 16 is to 9. If you want to learn more about this device you can check out MKBHD's video. I'll link that in the description below. So that was the video. Thanks for watching the video. See you soon with some new interesting videos. Till then, stay good, keep good, and keep doing incredible things. And yes, of course, keep watching Incredible Victor. Merry Christmas.